probably be easy when you can just die. I'm Chewy Mew, and welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome to another Chewy Mew video, but even more specifically, a figure that I never know I wanted or really cared about, um, a character, but I kind of cared about it once I saw that it existed, and you guys know how I'm always crapping on Hasbro for, for never trying and making figures that I don't care about, and you know, uh, as much as I hate it, sometimes I buy the figures because it's either that or I can't home the, I don't have the figure or I'll just make a custom or whatever. And that figure is the Marvel Legends Scream. My camera looks really cro crooked, doesn't it? Also, it turns out my camera lens has a crack on it, so you know that's that's pretty cool. There's boxes under my legs. Let me move these out of here. Slide my chair in here. And the stupid cords, cords everywhere. Alright, so let's take a look at this figure here. I got it for Christmas as well from my mom. Um, they sell these, you know, if you're going to buy Marvel Legends figures, at least if you're in the U.S., um, they sell them at Walmart for like, they sell them at Walmart, ah, they sell them at Walmart for like 20 bucks-ish. Um, you can, this part's actually coming out, like, you can feel it pushing out of the plastic. Really huge build-a-figure piece. I mean, it's some for 20 bucks, as far as I know in the U.S. Everywhere else, I've seen them at, like, Walgreens for, like, 24. I've seen them at Target for, like, 22. So if you're in the U.S., at least where I live, um, it's some for, like, about 20 bucks at Walmart. Everywhere else, they sell them expensive. And I would I would say, if you can find this online for, like, 15, I think it's worth it. I can't help but think these figures aren't worth, you know, anything more than, like, 20, I would say. But, yeah, so, you gotta read up here. Um... Francis Louise Barrison, aka Shriek, escapes from captivity, captivity and forms a twisted family-like, twisted, ah, uh, and forms a twisted family with like-minded villains to terrorize Spider-Man, like Carnage, Carrion, and Demo Goblin. I know they're part of their like her family, I guess, as she says. Um, and she was also in the Venom movie, portrayed by I don't remember the actress's name, but I think she did really good. I don't think the character really got any time to do much. She didn't really do much in the movie, but I think. I think she was cool, and uh, that's not really why I wanted this figure. I wanted this figure because I, I always wanted a Shriek figure. I mean, I never really cared about Shriek, but I was like, hey, um, you know, might as well open this up here. I'm trying to be very delicate. I don't like damaging the packaging here because I accidentally damaged the packaging on the um, the end of the Spider-Verse. Uh, what's his face? The Peter B. Parker guy. There we go. Peel this tape off here. Alright guys, be honest, if you're watching this review, you're probably not watching this to see like a very professional review, you're probably watching just to like, I guess see me just talk about a toy, which I mean, let's be honest, that's kind of what figure reviews are in a way, they're talking about a toy, I mean, in the most like basic way possible, put this tool away there, and actually fun fact, the tip of the blade is really dull, it's not like super pointy and sharp, now that we open this, let's open this sucker up, and this figure is possibly, quite possibly, my favorite female Hasbro Marvel Legends figure of all time ever. And you guys are going to see pretty sure why. And it has to do with something they did, which I think is beautiful. Come on. I don't think, uh, I'm, I was going to say, I don't think they're better than Toy Biz figures, but I, I don't know. So here is the figure. And there it is. I think it looks really cool. A little basic, though. First, let's take a look at the piece that I don't really care about at all. Um, and that is the Armadillo Build-A-Figure piece, which, if I'm being honest, I don't even know who Armadillo is, like, at all. I don't know anything about it. Um, this looks like it comes off here. I'm not gonna pull it off, because what if it breaks? So, yeah, here's the Build-A-Figure piece. Very, feels very hollow and very, like, cheapy, I guess. I don't know. It feels, I don't know. To me, it just feels kind of cheapy. The legs here in this plastic thing feel a lot higher quality, um another one of these little ball joint things honestly i might i'm probably never going to finish this build a figure um thing because honestly quite frankly a lot of the other figures in the wave i don't really care about getting um on, yeah honestly none of these other figures i really care about getting because miles morales i mean i don't care too much about the character uh, i i don't like the no way home design of the costume i think this one looks cool but i don't really care doctor strange i don't care morlin i don't care mr jameson I mean, I don't like the way he looks. I wish he had, like, hair. I mean, obviously, in the movie, he doesn't have hair. He's bald. But I, if he had, like, hair and looked more like, you know, the Sam Raimi version, I'd probably buy it. I wish he looked more like the Raimi style of, um, you know, Mr. Jameson there. Um, but, yeah, I don't really... And, honestly, finding Spider-Man, these, these Spider-Man probably be, like, $50 online. It's going to be ridiculous. 
So I don't really care too much about buying them. So I'm probably going to sell this build a figure piece on eBay, maybe, I think. Um, you know, I could probably sell this and get like maybe 20 bucks back. Maybe get like basically this figure for free. And then he comes with this. I will say the Build-A-Figure piece and the Build-A-Figure in general is pretty enormous. Also, you know, that's really cool that Hasbro actually gives you a, uh, a plastic piece separately. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, makes me think of some Toy Biz packaging where it has like a separate sleeve on the back. And this feels very good, like very rubbery, uh, very rubbery kind of like bendable and squishy plastic. Let's take this guy. Put You have to line the peg hole on the back. Um, stick that on there. I will say, this is one really cool thing that Hasbro makes these Build-A-Figure pieces really big. I mean, you take this compared to, like, um, the Toy Biz Kingpin here. It's bigger than Toy than uh, Kingpin's body. Um, I take a look at another guy here at Rhino. It's, I would say, it's actually kind of, like, close to the same size as Rhino a little bit. Actually, no, it's a little bit bigger there. It's, um, I don't know. I think... Yeah, maybe. I think it, it it does look, a. I don't know, they might be the same size, but this thing with arms and legs probably looks bigger here. Um, I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't know, I have no idea who Armadillo is. I've never even heard of that character. Um, and if uh, you know, let me know. But apparently he, he's going to look like that. Um, which when I saw it, um, my mom saw it and started, and she was like, oh, who is that? It looks like some kind of like evil, like, uh, it looks like some Hulk villain. That's what she said. It looked like some kind of Hulk villain. But then here is Shriek. Let's take a look at the figure. The The main reason I bought this. I mean, you know, pretty much the only reason anyone buys figures is for the figure. Um, they put tape on the hands to keep them from falling out, which... Just seal that back up. You get some hands here. Come on, camera focus. So I think I said it in the past review, but um, my camera lens is cracked, actually. Come on, open this up. Come on, man. I don't want to take the tape off. I don't want to remove the tape completely. That way I can, um, you know, I can, like, if when I put the hands away, I can just toss the hands back in here and have the tape hold it. Here's more hands. Did I drop one? Nope. So she comes with six hands, including the hands on her arms. And boom, there it is. So you get this cool plastic thing. I like to keep them. Sometimes I like to put the figures in the plastic a container thing just to, like, to, just to have them there. This leg feels very stiff. That's concerning. Um, testing out all the joints. Make sure everything's fine. I mean, I got this from Walmart, so... Um, what makes this figure my favorite Hasbro figure of all time... Or not my favorite... My favorite female Hasbro figure. And that is for a little thing they did right here where... Um, she has a double bend in the elbow. And that that's, that's beautiful here. Because all other fe Hasbro female figures... There might be some before, maybe some... Probably nowadays there's obviously more because, you know, this figure has it. But as far as I know, in the past, uh, female figures have never been given um, double-jointed elbows. I grabbed Scream. Uh, Scream does use a different body. Scream is like the more bigger female character. And you can uh, you can tell right here looking at the two of them. Um, they didn't add all the articulation that the males have on this figure. It doesn't still have the ab crunch, but has a double bend in the elbow. Where Scream here has a single bend in the elbow, which... That doesn't really move in too much, and it rotates here and here, which, to me, that's kind of dumb there. But I'm really glad they, um, they, uh, they, what's it called? They, they finally gave a double-jointed elbow to these figures. Definitely, they definitely need it here. Take the hands off. I'm always scared pulling out the, these little female hands, because the pegs are so much smaller on them than the male figures. Like, I always feel like I'm going to break the peg here. Put that back on there. I will say, um, of course I am nitpicking here, but this is this also is kind of the reason I don't like Hasbro figures that much. Which, you know, I really, really, really am super glad that they, they're finally doing double-jointed elbows. I have seen a lot of other female figures released at the same time as this one, and they don't have double-jointed elbows. So I guess they're kind of pick and choosing, or picking and choosing which ones they want. Um, I can actually take her bracelets off. That's nice, too. Um... Oh, she only has a bracelet on one hand. Does she? Did I drop the other one? No. Oh no, she only really it only has one bracelet. Oh, they don't even they don't even show you the figure up here. They just show you a drawing. No, I think she only has one bracelet on her one hand. I guess, yeah. The hand without the without the little black thing on her glove there. But um yes, I think this figure looks it looks cool. Um, I really wish they would give an ab crunch. That goes bends back really good and I mean, her belt's loose. I kind of like that, too, so you can kind of take it off, I guess, if you wanted to. 
it doesn't it doesn't really bend forward too much, which I think bending forward is in most times in my in my opinion is more useful than bending backwards most times. Um, just look how creepy this head sculpt looks. Her face looks really creepy, and um, there it looks a very cool looking head sculpt. I think very creepy. So um, you guys are gonna have to let me know is um is is her skin like naturally white like this, or is it like a Joker scenario where Joker has like his hands or his face uh like like a clown, like, you know, make up, make, make up, make, P.O.'s makeup to make his face look white? Does she have the same thing, or his, or her, is her face and her skin just, you know, this kind of white? And is it supposed to be her skin exposed too, or is that, or is that like the design of her costume? Also, you can take the head off here, maybe? Yeah, you can take the head off too. I like that they're also giving these much bigger, some plastic on there. I like how they're also giving much bigger ball joints on the female heads, because some of the figures, like, I know the... The Absorbing Man wave, um, Spider-Gwen, the ball joint on the head is very tiny, so I feel like it can break, and also it doesn't, a lot of them don't feel too interchangeable here, but, um, come on, there we go, but, um, yeah, so I think this just looks pretty good, my issue with this figure is that most of it is just painted, like, she doesn't have any 3D sculpting, also, I do like the design more where she has, like, the one low boot, the one high boot, this ankle's not moving. Okay, there it is. This ankle was super tight. I feel like I'm going to break the foot, but no, it's it's working there. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I, I I like the design more where she has like the like the more like crazy looking hair, more big hair and stuff, like the spikes on her arms. The the belt still is kind of the same there. How she has like the one boot that goes really high up like this and the other boot that kind of goes up to her like her knee right here, which um I'm actually working on a custom. I'm actually working on a custom of this, and that's another reason I wanted this figure, so I can probably take off this belt, probably take off the belt, put on the other one, and then, um, and then probably, you know, take the head sculpt, put on the other one to make it look, uh, you know, to make it complete, because I can't make head sculpts for crap. I've tried making head sculpts, and they don't always work out too good. Um, as far as the arms go, the arms go up pretty good. I really wish Hasbro would just make the arms all the way go up, um... You know, uh, some people say, I wish they had individual finger articulation. They don't have individual finger articulation, which to me, that's kind of whatever. You know, I'd much rather have that than interchangeable hands. But interchangeable hands, they still work and they're good. I, um, you know, take a look at the bottom of the foot here. This one um, uh, says, just says China on the bottom of the foot there. And this one here says Marvel 2000, 2021 Hasbro SA. Not sure what the SA stands for. Something, another, uh, I don't know, I don't know what that stands for. Also, you get a little bit of, like, an instruction manual here that it, it basically tell you it's a choking hazard, don't swallow it kind of thing, you know? Um, I wish you could take this belt off here. You probably can, but it could rip, so I don't want to risk it, really. Um, but yeah, I think the figure just looks pretty cool. I just wish it was, like, the more, like, early, um, her first appearance kind of look where it looks more, like, you know, have more 3D effects and stuff on it, maybe, like, where she has, like, that leather vest kind of thing to it, or, like, that leather jacket that has all the buttons going down the stomach and, like, on the chest, too, um, which, that's how my custom's gonna look, it's gonna look like her more, like, earlier appearance, I guess, or maybe this one came first, I'm not really too sure which appearance came first, as far as switching hands, can take this hand off here, I don't like how this bracelet piece, her little bracelet thing, you can take it off of the hand. I'm not a big fan of that because it feels like if you take them off in a hurry, you could lose the hand. She does have um, does have an open hand here for the right hand, and then a fist hand for the right hand as well. You do also get um, of course you get this like open hand here that's on the figure currently. Get the open hand. This one is like black, uh, black paint on the wrist, like some black there. It's obviously there. It's not on accident. Oh, I didn't notice this, but you can actually see how her two sleeves are different. This one's much more, with more skin exposed. This one has like some black going to the glove, which I think that's kind of cool. Are these gloves or is is it her skin color? I I can't. I don't really know. I don't really know if this. I don't know if she's actually like supposed to be like white, like this kind of white, or if her face is like painted or something. I don't know. And swap the hands on, like put a fist on here. She does have this, um, oh, that's for, this is the left hand I'm switching. Um, I'm just going to keep this one. I like that open hand there. Keep that open hand right there. And then you can have the bracelet kind of loose. Or you can have it up high. I guess you could have it like loose on the wrist right there. 
take this off here. Um, so she does have this open hand. I'm not really too sure what this is for. Because she doesn't really come with any weapons to hold or anything, right? No, I don't, I don't think... She doesn't come with any accessories to hold. But I guess you can, like, have her hold, like... I don't know. Do I even have anything here for her to hold? Um, I have, like, a Craven Spear here. A custom Craven Spear, which... I mean, I, I, you can kind of do that, I guess. I'm not really too sure what that hand is for, though. I mean, I guess, like, if you have a prop, you could give her something. I don't know, but I don't, I don't really have anything like that. But, yeah, so, overall, I think this is... I think, for me, what makes this figure awesome is the fact that they finally gave double-jointed elbows to the female figures, which, honestly, I have no idea why they didn't. Because I doubt this kind of plastic, you save and they save any money on a plastic like this. Because you have one one plastic here, two for the rotation peg, three for this, four for the shoulder, and then five that connects the shoulder in there. Whereas this one has one piece. That's two. This butterfly joint is two, or that armpit joint is two. There's three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh, I mean, there's seven pieces, whereas this one said, what, four or five? So, I mean, they do save on pieces, but... I guess they actually paid attention to what people were saying that, hey, we hate not having double-jointed elbows on female figures. Which, you know, I'm finally glad that they finally did. I've still seen, like, some of the Eternal figures, or some of the, from the Eternals movie, a lot of them still don't have the double-jointed elbows. They still have the, the single joint, which, I mean, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but that's that's a big deal to finally have that. Um, I'm honestly probably not going to collect more unless they release, like, I don't know. If they release some of their figures, I might buy some more figures in general. I don't really buy too many Hasbros because I don't really... You know, like, if they make a Carnage, I'm probably not going to buy Carnage. If they make, like, Spider-Man, I'm definitely not going to buy it because I already have... You know, I have Toy with Spider-Man. Why would I want a Hasbro one? I mean... And, well, I mean... And, well, the, enough controversy. This figure, I think, is just great. Um, I, I, I really hope that eventually in the future... They either improve this ball joint. It does bend back really good. It, you, I can't deny that. It does bend back... It does go forward, you know, a bit. I don't have any uh, male Toy Biz or Hasbro figures near me, but the ab crunch on those works a lot better than this. Also, why even have that? Why not just... I guess they don't want to give an ab crunch because they feel like they're going to break up this sculpt, and I guess they want to keep the female sculpt like this and stuff, but... I mean, this, this ball joint... I mean, that ball joint, honestly, that kind of works better than this. I mean, they also are different size of bodies. Like, this one's a different kind of body sculpt compared to this one. But, you know, I kind of wish that, that they had, um, you know, like, it, um, I don't, I don't know. I just wish they had, like, I mean, they could totally throw a waist wolf in here. I don't know. It seems like I'm nitpicking, but, you know, I really wish, you know, I really wish they would give them, you know, that way that they feel more complete. You know, if, if they had, like, a, like an ab crunch, if, like, if they had an ab crunch or a really good ball joint, I would say these are better than the Toy Biz bodies. Because, honestly, as much as I love Toy Biz, I think the female Toy Biz bodies kind of suck. I think a couple of them, like, I, I really like the Black Cat figure, even though it has, like, hor horrible pelvis joints. I do like that figure, but I, I can't deny that they're not that good. But if they gave this, like, give her a swivel in the boot here, I don't care about individual, like, the toe movement or the fingers. To me, that... That's fine, that's whatever. Interchangeable hands, to me, interchangeable hands, they're good enough. Um, but, you know, if they were to give, like, an, just an, like, give it an ab crunch and rotation in the boots. Some of them rotation in the boots, not all of them, though. But if they had that and an ab crunch, I would think that these would be better than the Toy Biz female figures. Because um, the, the Toy Biz female figures, the proportions are just, um, you know, at least I will say, th this looks like, like a, a normal women's body, you know? It doesn't look like... It doesn't have, like, the weird black cat, like, weird triangle pelvis thing. This looks like a female body. They nailed that part right, but it just doesn't... I don't know, just... Just, like, if they get better articulation, I think it would be better. The Toy Biz, the Hasbro bodies for males, I think they're kind of whatever. I think Toy Biz did better, but female bodies, I think Hasbro did better overall. But enough complaining... I do love this figure. I think it's really, really great. Um, I think it does look good. The design that it's going for, which I don't know who drew any of these or any of the artists or whatever, but I think it's, this does this design does look very accurate to what they did for. I just prefer her other version with, like, you know, the more, um, more like, decorative kind of clothing she's wearing. I'm out of breath there. Um, but, yeah, so let's take a look at the articulation. The head looks all the way down. Um, it does actually have a... 
the hinge in the neck, the hinge in the neck and the the ball joint, which does offer some uh, tilting side to side. You can't rotate it all the way around here. Um, you can't. She can't look back though, you know, because of the hair and stuff. The arms go up about that much. They they don't go up all the way, but you can rotate them and turn them like this. And I like that on this figure. Some figures it doesn't really work, but this one when you rotate it, the design does look like it kind of goes consistent with it. And then if you have it the other way, it doesn't go down all the way. Um, rotates all the way around though. Finally, a double bend in the elbow. That's perfect. Also, a double bend. Oops. That joint's really tight. Some with have some Hasbro figures with how tight the joints are. I'm afraid I'm going to just snap the joints. Double jointed elbow. Double jointed knees. Also, another thing I didn't notice here, but if you look here at the knees, the pegs, you don't see the pegs sticking out of the leg here anymore. They covered these. They covered those up. So, I think that looks really cool as well. They're really good at hiding joints. I will give Hasbro that, that they, they do hide joints really good. Like, you don't see the armpit or the elbow joints here at all, either. Um, some Toybus figures, you do see the joints here. Most, Pretty much all Toybus figures, you see the joints right here. Um, I think it's really cool that Hasbro covered those up. Or they put them internally there. I think that's really good. You have a hinge in the wrist, rotations all the way around stuff. Very good articulation there in the hand. Like I said, the ball joint, um, it goes back pretty good. It doesn't. It goes forward decently. It does tilt side to side. I will say that's the one benefit of ball joint. It does tilt side to side really good. The rotation on it is really great. Just It doesn't go forward as much as I'd like. Um, the legs kick up all the way. She can't do the splits. Oops. I feel, I feel like I'm really going to break this figure. I'm really scared of that. You can't do the splits, but what you can do is you can kind of... I mean, that kind of does... You can kind of get like simulated splits a little bit if you move it like this. You can kind of get kind of close to it. Comparing that to this one here, yeah, they def they definitely did improve the leg joints here. These legs kick out a lot farther than this. The Scream ones kick out kind of bad. These ones kick out a lot better. They rotate around the upper leg, double bend in the knee, which that bend is so tight. I feel like I might like take the figure apart or something to sand it down. That feels really tight there. Actually, this bottom one here feels really tight. I might not even use that joint because I'm scared of breaking it. The foot goes forward and back. Rotates all the way around because the ankle pivot, which, again, I really wish they would um, make a better ankle pivot. I mean, it does get the job done, but I don't know. I kind of like the Toy Biz versions where, here's Rhino right here. The Toy Biz version, it does have more motion. You also have this joint here, too. I know I need to stop comparing them. They're, they're aiming for two different things, but I don't know. I feel like these ankle pivots can be, I don't know. To me, they kind of they kind of bug some articulation, in my opinion. But yes, so overall, I think this figure is definitely great. This is definitely my favorite Hasbro figure, or female figure. Maybe even my favorite Hasbro figure. It's definitely, I will say, it's probably my favorite Hasbro figure in several years. And, um, of course, this head sculpt. Didn't really talk about it too much, but I think this head sculpt looks really awesome. The hair looks really good. I will say, Hasbro definitely does nail making head sculpts and stuff here. The lips, their mouth is kind of opening. You can kind of see teeth a little bit. Maybe that's just, like, paint missing or something. One blue eye and then one, like, the one uh, all white eye with the black line on it. I think it looks really cool. Um, but, yeah, so that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to let me know. Let me know what you think about this figure. And let me know um, what do you think about, finally, Hasbro having double-jointed elbows. But, yeah, so that's all for this video. I will see you guys in the next review.